This video provides instructions on how to set up and configure the IMS 1000 to use Adobe Atmos feature. The IMS 1000 will need to be at the following security manager, firmware, and software versions. The Adobe CP850 will need to be at the following software version. Connect an Ethernet cable to either the Ethernet 0 or Ethernet 1 port on the IMS 1000 and connect the other end to a gigabit switch. Connect an Ethernet cable to the command port on the Adobe CP850 and connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to the same switch the IMS 1000 was connected to. Note that the CP850 should be configured under the management or auditorium network and not the media network. Connect an Ethernet cable to port A on the audio adapter and connect the other end to the IMS 1000 AES 1 through 8 port. Connect an Ethernet cable to port B on the audio adapter and connect the other end to the IMS 1000 AES 9 through 16 port. Connect the power cable to the power port on the audio processor. Note that the IMS 1000 will need to communicate with the CP850 so the projector and the CP850 should be on the same subnet. It is necessary to contact Dolby customer support to request a DLM in order to use the Dolby Atmos feature. To install the Atmos license, have a license file on a USB flash drive and connect it to the USB port on the IMS 1000. To access the license manager GUI, go to the control menu, then ingest manager. From the drop-down menu, select Local Storage. Select the license file and click Ingest. The user will be asked for a password. Enter the appropriate password and press OK. The unit does not need to be rebooted. To verify that the license has been ingested, go to Control, Content Manager, Licenses. To view the details of a license, select it and the information will appear at the bottom of the screen. To delete a license from the unit, select it and click on the delete button. In order to add the audio processor, go to administration, then device manager. Click on the new button and select audio processor from the device list. Select Dolby from the processor model dropdown and Atmos will automatically be selected in the second field. Enter the IP address of the CP850 and then click save. Note that the audio processor needs to be enabled in order for channel 14 and Dolby Atmos to operate. To play Atmos content from the IMS 1000, go to Control, then CineLister and Editor. A list of content will be displayed in the Editor tab. To add content to the show playlist, simply click on it. The user must insert a 5 second black clip at the beginning of each Atmos CPL to allow the security manager to connect to the CP850. In order to access the Adobe CP850 web GUI, open a web browser on a Mac or PC that is on the same subnet as the CP850. The default IP address will be required to access the Adobe web GUI. Confirm the IP address with your Adobe installer. Once arriving at the Adobe web GUI homepage, a username and password will be needed. Contact Adobe support to obtain the proper credentials. After logging in to the Adobe Web GUI, you will be taken to the home screen. If the selected content does not have the required Atmos data, the Adobe Atmos content section will have a red dot stating no Adobe Atmos frames available. Adobe Atmos content should be green to show that the content playing has the appropriate Atmos data and that channel 14 is functioning. The row of green dots in the input status section signifies that channels 1 through 8 and 9 through 16 are being passed through properly. If channels are disconnected, then the dots will be grayed out. Please note that channel 14 transfers the Adobe Atmos information from the player to the CP850. The Adobe Atmos setup and configuration is now complete.